Hey guys! So this video is going to be a haul and a product review of the company called Frank and Oak, um, which is a men's online clothing shop that I was introduced to a few weeks ago from my friends. So this is not a sponsored video, but I was really intrigued by how Frank and Oak, um, their mission, what they what they do, and what products they give to the customers. So I guess I'll start out with what their mission statement is, and I have my laptop right in front of me. So their mission is simple: help a generation of men dress and live well. Uh, Frank and Oak began with an inventive approach to integrating design and technology, all for the purpose of getting guys the style they want at a reasonable price. So I would say Frank and Oak is kind of like Birchbox in that it is a retail online shop in one side. There's also the subscription service where you get a monthly package of something. And for Frank and Oak, that club is called uh, the Hunts Club, where you join the club, you do some sort of questionnaire which asks you a few questions based on your style and what things you like, etc. And then every month there is a collection of clothing tailored to what you like and what your preferences are. From there, you choose three clothing items, um, up to three, and they will be sent to you at your doorstep free of charge. So there's free shipping. There is no cost to you for joining the service. I know that for Birchbox, you have to pay $20 for Birchbox Man, but for the Hunts Club, what you pay is basically what you, what clothing items you choose to keep. Um, so when you get the, the box, I have my box right here. It says, Ooh, Frank and Oak. I chose three items and you get to try them at the comfort of your home. If you like all three, great. If you like two and you hate one, you return one of the items back and return shipping is also free for you. And then you pay for what you keep after you return the boxes, is what my um, understanding is. And let me just start off by saying that before I even started this, I took a look at their website, which is really nicely designed. Um, they're trying to leverage design and technology because a lot of companies like Birchbox, the Glossy Box, and all these other subscription services seem to be doing well in that, you know, you don't have to leave your home. Everybody's shopping online nowadays that um, it's kind of like a treat when you get a when you get a package in the doorstep. Like every time I get something, especially something this big, it's like I'm getting a present. So that in itself is sort of like a fun side to, you know, this type of company. About their products, I'm, I'm looking at the website and they're committed to quality. Everything that they have is what they do. A vertically integrated structure meaning that they do everything themselves from sourcing all of the cotton or the materials. They try to use the best quality materials in their clothing. Frank and Oak's head office is from Montreal so unfortunately um, they only currently ship to within Canada and the United States. And let's get this started. I was really impressed. So every month there's some sort of um, theme whether it is, so this past theme was the Nordic theme, um, and the current December issue is um, some sort of holiday Christmas theme. This month's selection is d definitive of a sharply dressed holiday season featuring sharp festive colors like bright red, green, blue, and traditional seasonal patterns. So you know that every single um, month there is you know, some sort of theme that goes on with their clothing. So, that being said, I will show you the three items that I got from my Frank and Oak box. It came within five to seven days, and when you get it, it comes in a box like this, and it comes with invoice sheet showing you what you got and how much each prices are, and then a little paper about what to do next. So the first thing that I got was a merino wool cardigan in cherry looks like that um, it has kind of these like not black but kind of dark dark gray buttons the quality of this cardigan sweater is really really nice it is wool so you know that it's gonna be warm especially right now in Seattle it's probably like negative something degrees Celsius which is probably like 30 20 degrees Fahrenheit um, this cardigan is in the color cherry and perfect for the holiday season try this on oh and there's two pockets in the front that I see um, this is like impromptu trying on of the cardigan sweater um, so far I actually really like it um, it feels really nice to my skin, 
Um, the length of the sleeves are at a nice length. It doesn't go too far from my wrists. And um, the only thing that I'm worried about is that I, this possibly might shrink, so this might be something that I would have to air dry in the future. When I was choosing my items, I took, I carefully examined the sizing guide because I know that sometimes different companies size differently, but this is actually a perfect fit for me and I actually really like it. This specific cardigan is 55 US dollars. Looks like that. The next item in my box is Bison Range Flannel Shirt in Forest. So, it is this plaid shirt that has patterns of green, navy blue, and this dark tan color. I have a few flannel shirts, but this one um, feels really soft. Again, with the quality, it is 100% cotton. And as I try this on, so this is what the flannel shirt looks like. I actually really like this also. Um, the collar detail over here, there is um, a button on the shirt and then a little hole to put the, the uh, button through which means like you know if you wanted just to have the the collar to stay down you can do that if you want to um, I typically like to roll up my sleeves so just to keep things a little bit casual so that's what that looks like I actually really like this one too this uh, flannel shirt is $45 and the fit of this for me feels fits really well. Um, I know that with so, I know that with some flannel shirts, they get a little bit um, a little bit wide in the bottom area, but this one has a nice fit to it, and I'm really happy with the pattern, um, the buttons, uh, the fit, the comfortability of this flannel shirt. So this is hard because I was hoping that I wouldn't like one or two of the items, and I just get to buy keep one, but so far I'm really liking this green flannel shirt. So I'm probably going to keep this one too, who knows. The next item that I have here is the last one, the third one. It is the Chelsea Corduroy shirt in coffee. I, I really like the names of all of these, um, a, a lot, all of these colors. So this cherry, this is coffee, and then this one's forest. It's not like green, brown, and red. They're kind of unique, but this one is a corduroy long sleeve shirt. They had a red one, but since I had a red cardigan that I already put in my box, I um, opted for something a little bit more um, brown and neutral. And I don't have a long sleeve shirt that's this color, so I decided to get it. One second while I try it on, this is the coffee colored corduroy dress shirt. Um, I actually really like this one as well. Um, it also has the buttons on the collar and to keep the collar down. Um, I think the corduroy also feels really nice, although for this one, oh, this is a nice touch. They have like um, a burgundy lining in the inside, but <laughs> it's only on this part. I don't know how you would do that, but um, I wonder if you, would, if you can just keep it up here. One thing is I have a corduroy long sleeve a uh, shirt like this from H&M, but it's a green color. Um, and I'm trying to remember how much I paid for that. This one, this corduroy long sleeve, is for $45. Granted, they kind of are similar, but then I can kind of tell that this one has a better material because it's a little bit more durable, and the material is just, it feels really soft, I don't know. Um, perfect for the fall, winter time, um, really neutral. I'm not sure about these buttons. Um, like on camera, it looks kind of stark in comparison to the dress shirt, but while looking at it on the mirror right behind this camera, it actually looks fine. Um, but I kind of like this one too. Um, but all in all, I'm really, really impressed by the quality of the clothing. Um, the fit was spot on. The sizing guide tells you like, if it's if your arms are between this length and this length, get a small. If it's between your waist is this much, get this size. Um, but I don't know, guys. Which one should I keep and which one should I take? I think I'm for sure gonna keep the green flannel shirt. Um, I really like this one too because it just feels really soft and 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 perfect for you know work time. But then I'm on the fence with this one. I might keep it because 
you know, I, I do like the colors. The button thing might just be me being picky right now, but I might grow into it, but I do really like it. All in all, I'm really impressed with Frank and Oak. Um, I'm really glad that I did it. Sometimes, I think the only hassle with this type of um, company is that if you don't like something, you would have to find a way to return it. And I know for me, I work a lot, I, but I do know that in my office, I can just um, return it in the mailing room. So that's no problem, but for, for those who actually have to go out to the FedEx store or whatnot, just to return it, it might be a little bit cumbersome, but if you can do it, I think the clothing is really, really, really great quality, tailored to what you like, um, and I'm excited to see what they would come out like in the spring and summertime, if it would be a, a little bit um, more tailored to the season. Um, that being said, they don't just sell tops, they also have pants, accessories, bags, winter coats, anything men related, clothing for men, they probably have it. But um, check it out, it's frankenoak.com. I'll leave a link in the description bar below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and this wasn't too like salesperson-esque, but I really do like the clothing here and um, I hope you guys check it out. And if you do use Frank and Oak, let me know in the comment box below and tell me what your experiences are like. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm probably, somebody commented last video or the video before that that I readjust my glasses. I don't know why, but I, it's just a habit. <laughs> But um, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks again. Bye.